What can you do when you're struggling to follow an editor's advice? That's the topic I'm addressing today in The Right Question. I'm Daphne Gray Grant, the publication coach, still in pandemic mode. I have a question from Philip Belson, a writer based in Antwerp, Belgium. Here's what he's asked by email. I'm writing my first novel and I'm in contact with an editor from a good publishing house. She's very interested and has sent me her first feedback, but now I'm struggling. I feel a lot of resistance against some of her suggestions. I want to please her, but on my own terms, and I now feel completely paralyzed. I feel supreme confusion after each major piece of feedback from her. I don't think that I'm arrogant. It's just that it's very difficult and painful for me to let go of material that I've worked on. And, by the way, using time hasn't helped. I did put the manuscript away for a month or two this summer, and that didn't help me develop a more objective view. I fear that I'm a textbook case of writer's block. Thanks for your question, Philip. I don't think you're being arrogant either, but it's important that you understand both the advantages and the disadvantages of working with an editor. Let me walk you through both sides of the ledger. To get the ugly out of the way, let's start with the negatives. First, it's surprisingly difficult to know if your editor is a good one even if she works for a major publishing house. Just as there are good doctors and bad doctors, and good lawyers and bad lawyers, there are also good editors and bad editors. And here's what makes matters even more challenging. Editing is not a matter of right and wrong, It's a matter of taste. If your editor has radically different tastes than you do, you're bound to come into conflict. Second, Matters of personality may be playing a role. Some people are friendly and agreeable, while others are curt and dismissive. If you have an editor with few people skills, that may be part of the issue. Third, and I know this is deeply ironic, not all editors have good communication skills. Your editor may be having a hard time articulating the specifics of her concerns, and of course that makes it hard for you to understand them. There's an old joke that goes, an editor is someone who knows exactly what they want when they see it. Okay, now let's move on to the positives. First, An editor is an outside pair of eyes. The big problem facing many writers is that they're way too close to their own material. As a result, they have no sense of perspective. An editor can be a bridge between you, the author, and the readers you want to enjoy your book. Second, an editor understands the book business and should have a good sense of what readers are looking for, or at least what their publishing house is hoping to sell. And more books sold will mean greater success for you. Third, an editor is key to a publishing deal. It's actually great news that you have an editor. It means the publishing house has significant faith in you. Here's what I suggest. If you're feeling at your wit's end with your editor, schedule a meeting with her and have a frank and open talk. You really don't need to pretend to be more confident or assured than you are. Instead, say things like, I'm having difficulty understanding how you want me to fix that section you've marked in Chapter 3. Or, how specifically do you want me to make the character of Martin more relatable? If you simply disagree with some of her suggestions, let her know that as well. Editing is not just about following orders. Instead, you should view it more as a type of negotiation. Editors are meant to help you achieve your goals. You should never see them as an enemy standing in your way. Finally, let me wrap up with a quote from the English novelist Matt Haig. To say that creative writing courses are all useless is almost as silly as saying all editors are useless. Writers of all levels can benefit from other instructive voices. Philip, I think you may be giving your editor more power than she deserves. Instead, See her as an ally who's going to make suggestions that will help you sell more books. If you'd like to learn more about how to make your writing a happier and more rewarding process, check out my latest book, Your Happy First Draft. It's not available in bookstores or on Amazon. The only place you can get it is my website. Link below and in the show notes.